Hi Pisces, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot with your November 2021 Tarot reading. This month we work with the stone Citrine or Topaz. It's a beautiful stone of abundance. So if you want some, get some. Uh, you don't have to have a point. If you do, maybe you can point it toward yourself at, at night at your bedstand or in your house. Like if you watch TV, have it facing in at you. Definitely have it facing in the house. Or a little palm stone that's polished or druzy and keep it in your wallet or purse. Um, so you can work through the energies of November through meditation, prayer, even just your thoughts and manifesting, okay? So we did have a lot of energy going forward this month from October, four planets. And then December 1st, we do have um, Neptune going direct. This month, though, Venus will retrograde. Excuse me, December 19th, Venus will uh, retrograde till January 29th. Then Uranus will go direct January 18, 22 also. But it's going to go back and forth while it transits Taurus to eight years. Okay, so let's see what we have, Pisces. Someone else got this page of wands. So in the last three weeks to three months, you've been working at something with your job, uh, business. Maybe you're trying to sell it or change something in it. You know, you're trying to revamp it and breathe new life in it, new energy into it. Um, you're starting to see the idea is taking shape, but you have got to put it into play, the energy into it to move, to make it grow, okay? And these ideas are coming to you and the news, the opportunity, the people are going to be showing up in your life to help you with that. For others of you, there's stuff that you're working on growing. Like, so if this is a relationship that was new, you know, just starting, or if you had some hiccups with the relationship in the last three weeks to three months, I feel like there's some renewal going on here. There's a mm, reignited passion. And if it's somebody new, it is passionate. It's, you're very excited. You feel childlike and giddy with this person. And you really love being around them. Their energy just really draws you in. And you feel like there's something that could grow here. Okay, for others of you, if this is a child who's an Aries, Leo, or Sag, that you've been having some issues with either their health or at school, uh, I would say that that will, let me just see what the next card is for sure, but I would say with that is coming up here. This child can't focus, or you can't get the root of them. There's something going on with them energetically. Be careful what you're feeding them. And I'm not just talking about food. I'm talking about feeding them in what you're saying in your life. So uh, make sure they're on a good diet. Uh, be careful of the carbs and the sugars. The glycemic index could be very damaging for this, especially the fire signs. You want an even balance of uh, protein and, and um, carbohydrates, you know, vegetables. A nice balanced out. No, don't give them more than 40 or 50 carbs a day, you know, especially sugary stuff. Make sure they're getting that protein with each meal, you know, like up to 20 grams of protein with each meal. I know you say it's not easy, but it's going to take some time to ease into that and find what they like. Get them involved even with cooking if you can and preparing their meals, okay? Um, and also be careful what you're saying around them. They're hearing you. They're seeing you. They're watching you. This is throwing them off. There could be some confusion and frustration going on with this child, okay? All right, that's all I have about this. But other than, I feel like you're getting new energy here. You, you're like a novice, a kid starting all over again, excited about something. You're really looking forward to this person, place, or situation, this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've been wanting this for a while. You're manifesting this, especially with the magician. So we know that you're bringing it into form. You're starting to say, okay, I know how to do this. I recognize the energies that I'm putting in. I recognize the way I'm thinking and speaking is affecting. Like, how did that happen? It came to me. Well, I was just thinking about it the other day. And, oh, I saw that in a magazine or on the internet. And, oh, my God, it's here. I have it. You know, Or it's on sale. You know, this is what I'm talking about. The magician making things so just by speaking them or willing them into being. And they will come to you. These are desires, okay? Very passionate, that fire, right? Gasoline on a fire, desires. So you have options now. There are a lot of new ideas and you're thinking and speaking about different things to make some sort of changes or you're gonna find a solution to something that's been going on with this child, with your relationship, but this is more about you. 
So concentrate on that, okay? Put a lot of thought into this. And like I said, start speaking it into being also. So it's very good for you. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles. So this is different energy. See, this is like when you're starting to worry about things. This is that kind of Virgoing panic and worry wart issues. Um, you want to avoid that at all costs. And I know that it's not always tangible to do so. Um, Mercury and Taurus. So Mercury does rule... Uh, Gemini and Virgo, like I said, so this is the way you're thinking and speaking, but Taurus is about, you know, the material things in life, love, money, your physical body. So be very careful of the way you're thinking and creating. If you've been living in a place of lack, this card is talking about you changing things, turning things around. You're starting to say, there was all these uncertainties going on, but the uncertainty started within me, Pisces, the way you worry and the, the way that uh, you think the worst, you know, um, everything's going against you, nobody likes you, you have all these enemies, everyone's out to get you. See, that's the lower vibration of Pisces that you need to evolve and work through. Instead of feeling like um, you're being abandoned and no one's there for you, turn it around to compassion and love. And you've got to start with yourself. Start seeing yourself differently in a loving way instead of a, a way that um, you're feeling frightened and alone or unloved, um, unappreciated. All right, this is what brings all this stuff into being, where things start going negatively in your life. Look, the cycles happen in everyone's life and you're in a rut. And there are cycles that work out and everything just seems to be going your way. That is true. And by your design before you got here. However, you can feed into the energy one way or another. It depends on your perception of it. And if you perceive it to be something negative and you're downtrodden and low and lack, you know that's coming more and more to you. But when you look at it saying, this is something that's happening right now and ask spirit what good is coming out of this, okay? And look for some positives in your life. Be grateful for things in your life and distract yourself from what's going on. It will help you enormously get through whatever this rut is or if it isn't something that's actually happening in your life and you are creating it, it will dissolve it. You know, this is where that Neptunian energy comes in, right? Um, that illusion, delusion. We want to clear that away and have um, some epiphany here and some clarity here that things aren't always what they seem, Pisces. They are what you make of it many, many times. And you want to make the best of it. So instead of looking at things as lack and people going against you, look at this. This is the way I'm feeling about this. Recognize that you feel this kind of way and then get back on the wagon and saying, okay, I faced it. I'm afraid of it or it's upsetting me or I'm scared. I'm uncertain, but what good is coming out of this spirit? Help me, guide me. And like I said, get back on the wagon into your life so you don't miss out on things that can bring you joy and bliss and distract you from the negative that you are either experiencing or you are creating. Okay, the five of wands. Two fives. Finances, work, social situation, your energy. Hmm. So they're looking at you and saying, yeah, something with work, if you have a business or something with work and there's a bunch of people, they're not agreeing with what you're doing. So I don't know if you're the boss or you have a title or even if you are a worker there, there's discord and disagreement. So you're either going you know, um, against the green here, or they're coming up at you. And it's very fiery and heated and passionate. There's a lot of everybody's got a different a thing to say, an idea about the way they're feeling about this. Um, be careful not to get caught up in this. If you could stay outside of the madness, it would be better for you, Pisces, and let the drama play out on its own instead of you being a part of the drama, because you have enough going on here with the possibility of... Uh, falling off the wagon and going into despair or just creating something wonderful, which is what they want for you. Universe wants that for you and so do you. You know, we put a lot of time into thinking negative things and if we would stop and realize how much time we spent on that, we could have been spending it on something positive. We realize we've wasted all this time. So this is a good period for you to recognize that 
all these challenges that are going on in my life, I can either get involved in or step away from. This is Saturn and Leo. So it's definitely something about how you're working at stuff, being how reliable or, or dedicated you are, or even how rigid or stubborn you're being. And Leo is about shining and the heart matters, uh, creating something wonderful. So when you look at that, you're saying, if this is something to do with work, and there's some collaborative thing or some uh, discord going on with everyone, I, I don't need to be part of this. I can watch, look, listen, learn, and then assess for myself what is best. So when it comes down to it, I can give a logical, clear answer as to how I am uh, uh, viewing this and how I'm feeling about it. And if it's you stirring this up here, again, you need to step away from this and get yourself together, man, because uh, you might be creating something that's going to backlash at you with this person or situation, this group, work, like I said, school. Um, it is a time of trying to be logical and diplomatic here and uh, avoiding, if you can, getting uh, overly emotional with the situation, okay? So remember, be diligent here. Be responsible here. Uh, comment from, especially with Pisces, love and compassion. You know, that Leo energy is all about love and compassion, pleasure and joy. So try and make a fun time of the situation. Maybe make merry of it, make light of it. Calm the madness. Bring some funny uh, quips to it to really ease the, the tension that's going on with this person or situation. I think it will be worth it for you in the long run and play out better for you with the outcome. So I hope this does help you, Pisces. Anyone who celebrates Thanksgiving in the Americas, have an enjoyable Thanksgiving and, and be safe, even if you don't enjoy November. But I will be stepping away from YouTube for a while. I will be here next month. There's just a lot of things going on in my life that I've got to take care of. And um, I don't know if I can dedicate myself the way I like to here. But I will be available still, you know, on uh, Instagram and Facebook for IM and DM. And I'm still doing that one free question reading for everybody. And I'm available for readings so just reach out to me if you need me and just to say hi. Okay, guys, I'll see you next month. And as always, I wish you the best.